Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You got Jake here, aka the Kentucky Dipper, coming at you once again with another dip review. Uh, before I get started here, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like on this video as well as hit the subscribe button and maybe even turn on that bell for notifications. That way you're up to date with all future content I'm posting here on the channel. Uh, right now for this month, uh, we're pretty stagnant as far as the channel growing. Um, and, uh, we want to keep it growing. So any of that goes a long way and it is much appreciated and also just know that if i review any products here on the channel that may be something you love and i don't give a good review of it um it's all based on my personal opinions and uh what i like and don't like um and i try to give the best most honest reviews that I can here and I mean no offense to anybody if uh, I give a review that doesn't meet the expectations that's just I'm honest so <laughs> anyway without further ado uh, this is a product I've been hunting for a long time to try to find um, where I'm at for some reason it seems to be difficult to come across um but it's this is going to be a pivotal video because um it's going to spark a great debate and i'll get into that in just a moment but today we're going to be taking a look at you you all know how i like timberwolf well we got timberwolf peach today ladies and gentlemen and yeah excited for this um it's made by pinkerton tobacco company in owensboro kentucky and the whole can pretty much has that peach orange theme um pretty basic and, and it's no different than any timberwolf can it's just orange um, the label's a little cockeyed, um, and the, the label in the middle is a little bit off center, but there is this really big, I mean, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see it. It's really dipped in on the lid, so it's leading me to believe this is going to be a fresh can. I got a feeling we're going to take a look. This is uncracked, so we're going to get cracked, packed, and ready to roll. And that's the thing I like about these uh, products. The paper on the can, it cracks really easy. Do our smell check through the can first. Nothing too strong. Okay, and then right off the bat, it has a very, very nice peach aroma. A lot of moisture on the lid there. Um, I don't, it won't really focus in on it, but there is a lot of moisture in that, on that lid. So let's get packed up here let's put in a dip um i am noticing something in there looks kind of odd don't know what that was i don't think it's anything but Oh yeah, this is super fresh. This is super fresh. I'm gonna have to repack it though. It looks like there's a just the slightest ghost pinch miss, missing from it. So I, I don't know about that. Usually, paint, uh, Timberwolf. Usually they're pretty good about not giving up ghost pinches, but here we go. 
Timberwolf peach. We're loading in the front. Get those dip crumbs off my lip. All right. So, the great debate, um, and the reason I've been looking to try this dip again um, is because I want to give my honest opinion, and I may even make a separate video. But I've been thinking, um, I've been really thinking, what really is the difference between these two dips? Because Longhorn, and I have a buddy of mine, and we've been talking about it. I don't know what they've done, uh, but they have really upped their game. Uh, I don't know. They smell a little different, and honestly, the Longhorn smells better. Um, but that might be another video for another time. I just don't really see why you would spend $5 on a can of Timberwolf when you can go get a can of Longhorn, which is just as good, if not better, and made by the same company. I think they're pretty much the same. Um, but I really want to delve into that. That's the great debate right now. Uh, on my channel <laughs> that's my big question at the moment and what do you think about it i mean uh between the two if you've tried the two do you see a difference uh right now the only difference i could see is the cut of timberwolf being better and um I'm not getting as many floaters. Uh, the Longhorn, it kind of tends to really just float around. Uh, and after a while, almost turns to a like a mush. But anyways, enough of the Longhorn. We're here to review the Timberwolf. And... This is my honest opinion. There's only one Timberwolf so far that I haven't liked that I've reviewed, and that was the Mint. There is not really, in my opinion, a bad Timberwolf product. They're all really good. And I don't know what they do, but it's always, I've never gotten a, a dry can it is always super juicy and soft. Uh, I will say the flavor is not very strong. Um, definitely a peach flavor there, um, but it's very subtle. The Longhorn in my opinion, it's it's a more peach, uh, and I and that's kind of what I want if I'm looking for a peach dip. I just want full force peach flavor. I mean, but this still is delivering that, just not quite as much as I'd like. But it's still good. It's juicy. Um, and it's sitting in the whip very nicely. 
not f moving around, not falling apart. Um, all in all, this is probably going to be one of your top tier, if not the top tier peach dip that you can get on the market. Um, forget Skull, forget all the any other peach out there. It's hard to beat this um, unless you're Longhorn. And that's going to be the great uh, debate, like I said. And I'm probably even going to do a video coming up. My next video may even be a real in-depth battle of the dips here between Longhorn and Timberwolf. Because I don't see that big of a difference, but I think the difference is there. I just think, um, I don't know. I think there's a definite debate there. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, once again, I appreciate the support. Um, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more future content here. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Like I said, we want to keep it growing. We want to keep it growing, and I want to see it showing. So, without, without any more babbling from me, I'm Jake, a.k.a. the Kentucky Dipper, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, stay tuned, and y'all be safe.